Let's talk about privacy. A lot of people talk about privacy, and some people even take steps that are weird to me, where they'll use an app, whether it's open source or not, but then they're connecting to somebody else's server. There's really no need for that. If you're going through somebody else's server for your chat communications, you don't know what's happening there. You can, they can boast about end-to-end -end encryption, but do you really know what's going on? But you can easily set up your own server, either using your machine that you're, you're chatting on, or something like this. This is a, a $15 to $20 router that you can get DDWR, uh, OpenWRT or DDWRT on, or even Debian running on. Uh, you can get them, like I said, for $15, $20. This you could tuck away somewhere and then just SSH in for the communication. We know SSH is a secure way of transferring information. It's been around for a while, it's been updated, and as long as you're running current versions, it's secure. Even better than this is you can boot any desktop or laptop without a hard drive in it, you can just boot Linux to, to RAM. You can do the same thing on a Raspberry Pi. So you boot your operating system to Raspberry Pi. You start up SSH server. You do your chat. When you're done, you cut the power. You shut down command or even hard cut the power and everything is gone. Uh, avoiding, uh, you know, uh, cold boot attacks because the odds of someone getting in there and freezing the RAM and all this stuff before uh, you're able to cut the power is unlikely. So how do you do this? Again, you just SSH in, and I've talked about this a while ago, there's a command on almost all Linux systems called write, where you can chat with someone else on the same system. And as long as nobody else is on that system, it's secure. And again, if you use a new reboot the system every time you want to start a new chat, it's super simple. So let's go ahead and just see how that works. I've set up a temporary server. It is a server up in the cloud somewhere, but again, I can do this with any old computer I have laying around. Let's go ahead and check this so out. For this example, I set up a server, but again, this can be any computer. You could be running it at your house or tuck a little server up somewhere that isn't even at your house, you know, someplace random as long as it's connected to the internet. So we're going to connect Alice. And you should be using security keys for this, but for the example, just to quickly set this up, I used a password. So connect Allison, and I'm gonna connect Bobbin, and then I'll clear the screen. So again, uh, I'm doing this from one machine, but these can be two machines anywhere in the world. So just pretend this top uh, screen is one machine, and this bottom machine is another computer somewhere, somewhere else in the world. Once both users are connected, I can just write right, and then the user I wanna to talk to. So Bob is logged in, I'll type in Bob. And now it's saying we're receiving messages from Alice and she can say, hey, comma, how are you? And he gets the message. Now, if he tries to reply, it's, it's, he's still at his shell. So he has to write, write Alice. That's it. Once both your users know this, they are communicating. So you can go, hey, I'm good. And then she can say, the crow flies at noon. And he can say, the clouds are gray in the sky, you know, secret message type stuff. And then uh, she can say, I like candy. And she can say, and then he can say, candy? And she'll be like, yeah, come on. It's good. And he'll be like, okay, bye. And then he can control C and exit out. And then she can control C and exit out and the communications are done. So again, this is all using SSH. Now, anytime you're having uh, conversations and you're talking about security, the, the weak point is usually uh, the two ends. So, I mean, if there's a key logger on any of the two systems that are talking, it doesn't matter how much encryption or where you're connecting to. Um, if it's being accessed at the end after all the encryption, uh, game over. So I would also suggest on both the machines that are being logged in to use a you know, a live CD or live USB, a live system that boots, you know, runs off a of RAM so that you know that it's clean and when you're done, everything erases. So there should be no, no uh, evidence of anything once you're done talking. This is super simple. You could do it on your phone, you can do it on a laptop. Anybody can connect to this. It's all being done on the server securely using SSH. A lot of people are going to say, oh, that's too difficult for the common person. It, I just showed you it wasn't that difficult. They log in, they type right in the user they want to write to, as long as that user is connected. So if the user is not connected, let's go ahead and type in our password here. Did I not type that right? If Alice tries to type, talk to Bob and he's not logged in, she'll say, right, Bob. It'll say, Bob is not logged in. And then they'll just have to wait until the other people are logged in. So you have to know each other are logged in. Otherwise, it's, it's not going to go through. But you know the messages aren't going to anybody because they're not logged in and it tells you. 
Um, but yeah, to me, that's the simplest, most secure way, not using any of these um, tools that are run by a company going through their server. You just spin up your server. Again, anybody can set up a server for 15 to $20 or even less if you really uh, take the time to find the hardware. Um, boot both the systems connecting and the server from RAM so that when you restart the machines, everything's wiped and everything, again, is using SSH. I mean, I don't really trust anything much more than SSH when it comes to encryption. So there you go. Uh, I hope you found this useful. A lot of people are going to be disagreeing with me because when it comes to security and privacy, everyone has their own opinions. But this is my thought. Let me know what you think down in the description. Just try to be nice. And I hope that you have a great day.